Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. My name is Mark. I work in the management department. I've been here eight years, and it's really gone by in a flash. I like working at HKUST. I teach courses related to business ethics and human resources management, both at the undergraduate and postgraduate levels. If you look into the management department, you'll find some outstanding academic world-class scholars. You'll find some excellent inspirational teachers, a professional support staff, and outstanding students. In fact, we want all of our graduates to be outstanding when they leave with the knowledge, skills, and attitudes that we provide in the management department. It might be a little bit of a conflict of interest because I do work in the management department, but I have to say it is the best department in the whole university. <laughs> in the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you some basic information about the management programs. Let's begin. When people come to the management department, they often tell us that they'd like to learn how to manage companies, international organizations. They want to learn how to manage money and other people, and perhaps learn how to manage their own companies. But nobody really says they want to learn how to manage themselves. And that is really the first step for taking on a study program in management. As you can see, some of the basic functions in management include planning, organizing, controlling, directing, and staffing. If you are self-disciplined and well-organized, then these things bode well for you for the, your studies in management. In the management department, we offer you a high degree of flexibility, and we ask you to make some basic choices along the way. So for instance, we want you to decide on taking the human resources management course or the managerial leadership course. In the human resources course, you would learn about hiring, training, appraising, and compensating individuals in an organization. The managerial leadership, on the other hand, would help you to develop your coaching, challenging, and building confidence skills for moving people ahead in the organization. The next choice we ask you to make is between decision-making and negotiation. In the decision-making course, you will learn about models and approaches to make the most productive decisions possible for any organization. In the negotiation course, you will learn about your position vis-a-vis -vis your negotiating partner's position. You will learn things like the best alternative to a negotiated agreement. This is the most advantageous alternative to take when negotiations fail. The third basic choice we ask you to make if you're choosing the management major is between corporate strategy and entrepreneurship and innovation. Corporate strategy relates to how to organize the resources and develop effective policies to strategically meet the organizational goals. Some of you may have a particular interest in running your own business. You might have an interest in startups. In this particular course, we will help you take your vision and your ideas and make them become business realities along the way. Management begins with the individual person, their attitudes and habits anchored in the context of teams and organizations. Management essentially aims to harness the physical, the human, and the informational resources in a highly effective way to meet the organizational goals. It is this ability to integrate the diverse ideas and approaches that all of our management courses aim to address. We offer many courses to choose from, including many intriguing electives. We have courses that include managing international companies in China and also our newest course centered around managing your social networks. In the management department, you'll find many excellent inspirational teachers. In fact, the management department has won the prestigious Franklin Teaching Award many times over the last few years, including last year. We're aiming again to win the award this year. Let's see how that goes. In the management department, you'll also find world-class productive scholars. 
the management department has consistently ranked in the top 15 research departments in the world. We invite you to come and meet and chat with the colleagues and find out their research interests. And perhaps you might get interested in pursuing an academic career in management study. We have two specialized tracks for our management majors to consider. The first track is the consulting option. This is where you'll learn about the fundamental consulting skills necessary to work on complex, diverse projects in all sorts of business sectors. The second option deals with the CSR sustainability option. This is responding to market demands. There's certainly an emphasis these days on things like CSR and ESG, environment, social governance. We want to equip students with the necessary skills that the market is currently demanding. We're also considering and developing a third option. This is the human resource management option. Due to the rise and emphasis in technology, we want to develop courses that address things like talent acquisitions and AI analytics with HR components. These are exciting career possibilities that you might also consider as an option for your studies. There are many reasons why students choose management at HKUST. We want all of our students to choose based on their interest and their needs. We also want students to think about the knowledge, skills, and attitudes that are necessary for moving themselves into their future careers. We are committed in the management department to make sure that all of our students understand and learn the latest management theories. We also make sure that all of our students become equipped with the most valuable and practical skills. And we encourage all students to adopt the most modern and international business attitudes that would be acceptable to any business these days. Here we have listed six reasons for you to ponder when considering management as your major. Looking over this list, I'd like to highlight the last one, number six, which is to upskill your critical thinking, confidence, and communication skills. These are highly transferable skills that will benefit you in whatever career path you pursue. Many of our graduates obtain jobs in all sorts of diversified fields, including finance, logistics, telecommunications, IT, utilities, government, education, consulting, etc. Some of our recent graduates have attained really outstanding positions with prestigious companies in Hong Kong. For instance, auditor in Deloitte, relationship manager in the Hang Seng Bank, a management trainee with PCCW, and a human resources manager position in CLP. After graduation, students usually take entry-level positions, but because of their specialized management training, they're usually the ones to quickly rise to the management positions available. We invite you to look at our website for details about the management program and people associated with the department. I hope you'll consider management as your major when moving ahead. My colleagues and I are committed to help you embrace management as the key to your success. So I hope that you have a better understanding now of the management department and some of its programs. Again, we want you to choose courses based on your interest and your needs. The management department is a friendly department with a high degree of flexibility for student needs. We hope that you'll visit us online or you'll actually come and drop by and visit our department. We'll answer all of your questions and help guide you forward. Thank you for your time today and good afternoon.